all. We're here to discuss about aggregate planning. An organization can finalize its business plans on the recommendation of demand forecasts. Once business plans are ready, an organization can do backward working from the final sales unit to raw materials required. Thus, annual and quarterly plans are broken down into labor, raw material, working capital, etc. requirements over a medium range period of 6 months to 18 months. This process of working out production requirements for a medium range is called aggregate planning. First, what is aggregate planning? Aggregate planning is an operational activity critical to the organization as it looks to balance long-term strategic planning with short-term production success. It also helps achieve balance between operational goal, financial goal, and overall strategic objective of the organization. It serves as a platform to manage capacity and demand planning. So why do we need aggregate planning? Why is it important? Aggregate planning plays an important part in achieving long-term objectives of the organization. Aggregate planning helps with the following. Achieving financial goals by reducing overall variable cost and improving the bottom line. Maximum utilization of the available production facility. Provide customer delight by matching demand and reducing wait time for customers. Reduce investment in inventory stocking. Able to meet scheduling goals, thereby creating a happy and satisfied workforce. Here's a brief example of aggregate planning in services. Classon and Avalon, a medium-sized law firm of 32 legal professionals, wants to develop an aggregate plan for the next quarter. The firm has developed three forecasts of billable hours for the next quarter for each five categories of legal services they provide. The three forecasts have been named as best, likely, and worst. If we assume a 40-hour work week and that 100% of each lawyer's hours are billed, we obtain about 500 billable hours from each lawyer this fiscal quarter. Lawyers needed or workforce is equal to total hours divided by billable hours per lawyer for the quarter. Once we have forecasted the workforce needed for the quarter or for any period of time the wording of the exercise requires, we need to follow the steps for chase strategy, level strategy, and mix strategy in order to obtain the total cost for the period. If the wording doesn't say anything about which strategy is going to be carried out, we have to compute all the strategies in order to compare the TC we obtain and choose the less costly strategy. We hope you learn about what is aggregate planning, its importance, and how does it work. Thank you for listening!